Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dolores, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode Skyblock. Ah, the mouthful of the mod pack names. Uh, so last time we were working with Industrial Craft 2, um, trying to get Mass Fabricator up and running. We have a recycler uh, here. I haven't added, I forgot to add the, uh, Oh, the thingy that does the thing. The cobblestone generator. There we go. I forgot to add that, but we managed to get... Uh, where were they? I put them all in here. Overclockers. Uh, so we have overclockers now. We can throw, let's say, six of those, and we'll make scrap pretty, pretty quickly. Um, there's one last thing I forgot about. Uh, ejector up. Uh, that's gonna require another electronic circuit. I think I can handle that though. So I have been really busy uh, trying to get a lot of stuff done. Um, go ahead and put the molecular transformer here. Uh, these guys can require can take any power output, so that's good to know. Um, so I spent a long time. So I needed to make seven advanced machine casings and three basic for these four machines. Um, not that bad. Uh, it could be could have been worse, but if we look at the recipe, uh, it's a bunch of machine casings, a bunch of steel, advanced alloys, carbon plates. That's all pretty easy. Now here's the not so easy part. I need 26 circuit boards because I need five standard, and I believe it was let's see eight. Um, let's try eight and fourteen. See how close that gets me. I need four more. One, two, three, four. Uh, so we need a total of five standard electronic circuits. And then we're going to need one more. So I will go ahead and get that real quick. I should have all the stuff available to me. Um, but I also needed 21 of the upgraded. Uh, and that is what is terrible. Um, 21 advanced circuit boards. That's insane. Uh, each one of those requires, it's all, actually, all of it's in here, except for the circuit boards, which are, um, still in the, the carpenter. But it requires 20, well, 42 basic capacitors, which requires, yeah, 84 of these redstone chipsets, plus a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we had the, the materials. Um, but the only reason we really had the materials is because of uh, the farm, which is doing well. Uh, our redstone um, energy cells down there are both pretty much full. Um, now, this guy is going fairly slow. Uh, we're at what? 9 million? Almost 10 million? Uh, I've had to drain this a couple of times to make other things. I didn't actually know that if, if you want to make, let's say, iron chipsets, you put iron and redstone in there, you put the recipe in there, you switch to it, and you tell it to stop making this, and it uses that stored power, which is really cool. Um, it made a whole bunch of iron chipsets very quickly. Uh, so that's one of those things that, you know, if I have excess power, maybe we'll have that set up so that it does that. Otherwise, we just need to make a lot more lasers, which we might do today. I don't know. We'll see. But I had to make 42 intricate circuit boards. That is a lot of redstone and gold. Um, it's a little under two stacks of gold. But... Here is the 21 advanced circuits. <sighs> this is worth it, but what we're going to be able to use it for right now, I don't know. Um, now this guy, we could tell it to go ahead and start, but I don't think I want to quite yet. Um, so we need to make some stuff. Um, the mass fabricator is actually pretty easy. Uh, we're going to need four glowstone and we're going to need a lapatron crystal, which is an en energy crystal which is just some energy and dust. Um, we should have all that stuff. I love seeing those trees disappear. We need to upgrade that like soon though. Uh, it just doesn't have enough power. One, two, three. Um, we're actually gonna need like a bunch of this stuff. So let's get like a stack of each. And oh, we also need the glowstone. Um, let's just take stacks. I can always come back and get stuff, like dump off our inventory, but um, we need to make, I, I believe we're going to need to make two of these, 
So let's go ahead and make... Is it like this, or is it the other way around? It's the other way around, of course. And... Yeah, let's make two of these. Uh, red... Oh, energy crystals is just what they're called. So, compressor... Compress those. Uh, we're going to need six lapis. Which we have. And while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and make the ejector upgrade. So we're going to need two pistons. Uh, so let's grab... Let's just grab a stack of iron on our way over. And... Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we need two pistons. Where did my cobblestone go? Where did I put my cobblestone? I have no idea. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Oh, I threw it in the, the recycler. That's right. Whoops. <laughs> so let's grab some more cobblestone. Uh, I am smart sometimes. So we do this. And we get the two pistons. We're also going to need a hopper. Uh, one, two, three, four. And yeah, so this is pretty easy to make. It just requires a little bit of stuff. Um, we want the ejector upgrades. So we're going to need two more of these. And it's going to require one of our circuits. Hopper and two pistons. And we get the ejector upgrade. Now, I can't remember how this works. So I think I wanted to eject on this side. So I think what I need to do is click it and it will say automatically output to the east side. So if we hit that, east. Yes, that is what I want. So we can tell it to do that. And we'll put the mass fabricator right here. Now something else I want to see if we can make, so we can take that off the list, is a fluid tank. How about are these? Oh yeah, those are really easy. Um, I want to make one of those because it's going to be super useful. Uh, what were we waiting for? Compressor. You. Uh, I can't actually make the second one until it takes away the first. So we do this with two of our advanced machine um, circuits. We'll get two more ready. So that's a Lapatron crystal. Uh, two advanced machine blocks. Lapatron crystal and some glowstone gives us the mass fabricator. Now this uses 512 EU per tick. This outputs 512. No upgrades are needed. If we ever upgrade this guy, then we will. But we just put it right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this and this. And um, this is already going to drain basically all of the power it can. So let's put it like that. And how do I want to do this trick now? Um... I could do a quick and dirty way of, let's just do the quick and dirty way. Um, so let's grab this guy, break him, and, cause I don't really need dirt right now. Uh, let's grab our dolly. Let's go down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this guy up, put him in its place, lock you, and we're gonna just dolly this up here. And we're going to place this guy on top of this machine. Uh, and then we will uh, extract stuff into this. Uh, now, one last thing we want to do before we do too much more. Uh, actually, not really. So, the mass fabricator, how it works. I really haven't talked about this, even though I've spent the last couple of episodes trying to get one. Um, they are necessary. You absolutely have to make it in this mod pack because you cannot get the ME system without it. Um, it just, it costs way too much. Uh, just kind of a reminder, the the wrench from Applied Energistics, the Sirtis Quartz wrench is required to get into any Applied Energistics. Um, I really don't care about, like, I will make a couple of these and then this will go somewhere safe because it's super expensive. It requires us to enhance Galgadori metal, which we've looked at before. That's not the problem. The problem is these enriched Scenarium alloys. Scenarium and enriched Scenarium aren't that bad. 
It just requires a lot of glowstone and uh, uranium. But it's these scenarium alloys which require eight reinforced plates, which is four iridium ore each. Uh, and that's either... that That's 32... 3.2 billion RF? Some, is that right? Yeah, that's 80, that's 80 million times four is... 32, 320 million each of these. Plus, you need, so you need half a stack. You need a full stack of iridium. Um, so it's 64 times 80,000 RF, 80, 80 million RF. Wow, numbers. It's a lot. It's a lot of power. Plus, it requires a lot of plutonium, which isn't really the easiest thing to get. Uh, let's be honest. So, what's the option? Well, UU Matter. Um, the Mass Fabricator makes UU Matter. And I'm going to demonstrate this a little bit. So, uh, I also want servo and a pipe, because that will be enough. Um, you know what? Let's, let's actually make this a little bit better. Let's make it an impulse. Uh, I still need to do that to all of those but I have glowstone on me. Uh, that's just something that I need to do. Uh, it'll make things faster. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much all I want. So we just put that in there. I believe it's two. Nope. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll clean that out later. It's whatever. But um, impulse item ducts allow you to go much faster. Uh, so we put this and enable and it's going to move stacks um nearest first yeah 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 cool so that is going to send as much as possible and it's going to extract any scrap into here so how the mass fabricator works it's actually pretty easy um it takes a bunch of power and then uses said power to make uu matter and it makes 10 is it uh, is it 10 millibuckets at a time or is it one? Scrap makes it go a little bit more efficiently. Um, so if you can keep scrapped in here, then it's better. And it makes one millibucket at a time. Now here's the here's the thing. Um, I don't really want to run this right now. Um, one millibucket, that's not much. But it'll work. Um, so let's... Get rid of that. And this guy, we're going to configure you to pull. So this is my UU Matter tank. Um, he's going to extract from here, and then later on, we'll have this push into the thing I need, um, which honestly will be like right here, because I don't think it matters. I think that makes the most sense. We'll just put a fluid duct here and call it a day. Um, but this will be kind of my storage. Now, I need to turn this guy back on, which is fine because uh, even though he's about to run out, I have another set of fuel rods ready. Uh, and one of the big things that we're going to work towards very, very soon. Um, so this guy is going to go forever. Um, I will get cobblestone generator on the back of this guy so he goes a little bit better. Um, he's maintaining power, which is nice. But let's do this. And as you can see, we are losing a lot of power very, very quickly. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, most most recipes that require UU matter require a lot of power. And then, like, sometimes it's as much as four millibuckets uh, to make an item. Uh, and that, that's kind of the hope. I don't know how much it's going to be to make um, iridium. But it's going to be better than that over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fairly slowly uh, kind of expand um, our EU production. Uh, we're going to make solar panels. We're going to make a lot of solar panels, and we're going to make better solar panels. But we'll get to that later. Let's finish making all of these machines. Uh, so the next one I think I want to make is the replicator. This one's going to be the nastiest, um, but it's the required one. Uh, now, for the record, Replicator requires 24, well, it can use up to 2048. Um, the scanner is 512. So 
um, this is tier four, this is tier three. We're currently at tier three with this stuff. So just putting that out there. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the replicator. So we're gonna need the reinforced stone that we've, we made last time and the reinforced glass, which we actually have an extra piece of, which is really nice. So that top row is done. Uh, the bottom row, we're gonna require two HV transformers. Uh, this isn't that bad. We're gonna need one, two, three, four. Um, two of these basic machine casings turned into MV transformers. And then the MV uh, transformers turned into next tier with, we're gonna need advanced batteries, so bronze item casing, some sulfur and lead dust. Uh, I actually have enough stuff here to make lead dust. We're gonna need sulfur. We're gonna need bronze item casings. So, uh, let's see, we're going to need two of these recipes. So we're going to need ten in total. So we're going to need five bronze plates. That's not too bad. Um, so we just come over here. Metal former, I think it is rolling. Let's quickly make sure. I don't want to waste this stuff. Yes. Alright, that has... Well over a scrap, a uh, stack of stuff, so we'll put that in there, and yeah. Um, now, as we give this more power and all that kind of fun stuff, it will do better. Um, it'll take a while. Uh, while we're waiting on that, we're going to need... I keep clicking the wrong one. We need four more insulated cables and two sulfur. So, one, two, three, four into sulfur, which should not be a problem. Um, cool. So, how is this doing? Um, also, we're gonna... We have four millibuckets, yay! Slowly, slowly we're getting stuff. Alright, so... Oh, I need to eat. IC2 stuff is complex. Um, but it's it's gonna be worth it. Uh, it's gonna give us an AE system, which is kind of the important part. So we have those two. Now we need uh, a little bit of gold cable. I believe it's two each, or is it? Yep, two each. And we have to double insulate this. Um, I went through a couple rubber trees, by the way. Uh, those are different. Uh, two of them have two spots on them, so they're better. Um, but we'll see how they work. And then two circuit boards. This will give us the HV transformers. And those go here. So the next thing we can work towards is the MFE. That requires four energy cells, which I wanna just make sure. Yeah, so we have one already. We need uh, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is pretty easy now. Um, now that we have like all of the uh, redstone we could ever want, it's pretty easy. So compress that. So let's get the rest of that recipe set up, and then we'll look at the next thing. So actually, the next row, because the next row is all the same. So we need four insulated gold cables. One, two, three, four. I think we have just enough rubber to do that. Uh, we're probably going to need to get more rubber. But that's okay. And then I believe in the middle is just a standard machine frame. Yes. Ba uh, basic machine casing, rather. Okay, so... How are you doing? Not too bad. As you can see, we've ate through like half of that uh, barrel already. So yeah, I, I will get that taken care of between episodes. Uh, oops. Threw my sword. Um, really quickly, let's, let's get something else going. Um, I guess it's just a single piece. Uh, so we're going to need 9 million um, EU for this. But, eh. Um, this will take a while. But we're going to get some scenario. Uh, so that's going to give us a full piece of scenario. We could do um, tiny little pieces. 
I believe... Actually... Actually, did I mess up? Uh... So, scenario pieces... Okay, it's one million each, and it takes nine. Okay. Or you can save on the glowstone and do nine million for a, a full piece. But this requires nine glowstone dust. This requires uh, one glowstone uh, block. So, okay, we're, we're, power is the more pressing issue, not energy. But that is slowly going down. That's okay. We're going to take this one piece of scenarium, by the way. I just want to show off what's kind of coming up next. Advanced solar panels. Uh, these require a scenario piece and reinforced iridium. That is for a lot of different things, but um, we'll probably want to do that more than anything else. I don't think, yeah, the only way to get this is to molecular transform it. You cannot um, backwards convert. So there is another millibucket. God. Uh, yeah, and this is probably just draining our power. But that's fine. Um, so there is next, and then one more. But yeah, we'll make solar panels. Um, and as we can get more stuff, we make more solar panels, and we make better solar panels. And then eventually these solar panels are just going to give us a ton of energy, and that's what we're going to use. Cool, so there's all that. Let's turn that guy off right now. Uh, let the scrap get backed up. And we'll make this guy, the MFE, which goes right there. Now, the last thing the replicator needs is three teleporters. And this is the expensive one. So the teleporters require advanced circuits. Um, th four each, that's, that's expensive. There's three of those. Um, and then it requires diamonds, that's easy, and then frequency transmitters, so we need literally one more piece of rubber. Alright, well, I, I can see um, one of the resin spots that is ready, so let's grab this guy, and let's go ahead and grab that. So, oop, get a little bit of resin. Uh, any more? Um, this guy has one really high up. So I don't know if I'm going to keep him. Uh, basically I was chopping down the trees. Uh, I used a crook to get plenty of saplings. Uh, we have like seven or eight saplings now. So not too shabby. Um, but I was cutting them down and then I take the wood and I would extract it and you get more, um, stuff that way. Uh, rubber. So let's do this. This will take just a second, but um, then we're going to need three diamonds, so that's not too bad. The teleporters aren't really that bad, other than the fact that they all require um, th that they require four advanced circuit boards each. That's the issue. Um, so there we go. We get a piece of rubber, and then those, plus the last three electronic circuits gives you frequency transmitters. Um, and then we also need glass cable. We need six. And there's one, two, and three. And there is the replicator. Cool. So the replicator will go right here. Now, this is completely and utterly useless right now, other than it's going to get some power. Um, presumably. That's the only thing that's going to be good about it. Um, because, well, we can't get anything. We could put UU Matter in it, but it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> uh, because it doesn't know anything. So, let's make something to teach it stuff. Um, that is the scanner. So, the scanner actually is probably one of the easiest ones. Uh, it requires two electric motors, which that's just a bunch of copper coils. Um, let's see. Okay, what do we have already? Advanced machine casing and two circuits go on the bottom. That is pretty easy. Um, iron plates up top. I just made a bunch of iron plates. Um, so let's grab those. And let's see what else. So 
Uh, reinforced glass. We're going to need to make another one of those. I should have everything to do that. We just need to go grab the glass. Um, we'll also grab some more copper because we're probably going to need to extrude some more wires. And I'm going to go ahead and sleep. So seven glasses for right now. Uh, now I know we're going to need some obsidian dust as well, so we'll get that. Um, that's for something else coming up very soon. Um, so let's get like eight of those. Alright, so I believe it doesn't matter. Um, because we can get extra, I'm going to... No, not sm smelt it. Sag mill it. Uh, so... Reinforced glass. There we go. I can put the rest of that in there because I don't think we need it. So we need we need illuminator, which is five glass, ten cable, uh, and then one of these guys. Uh, let's see, iron item casings. Do I have two of those? I have one of those. I should be able to come down here and roll that out. And then I'm going to switch it to extrude mode and get copper coils. How are we doing on that, on power? Not too bad. Uh, I think this auto adjusts how much power it uses based on what it's doing, like, um, like how much power we have overall. Uh, so let's switch this to rolling, extruding and get more copper cables because we need those coils. Uh, so like that, and then five glass. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, we just need to go grab the glass. And is there anything else that's going to be difficult? This requires some tin. Nope, okay. So this, this actually is pretty easy. Um, it's the next thing that's going to bring back something that was terrible. Um, but it has some new stuff as well, so that's kind of cool too. Anyways, let's get uh, the illuminators, which I'm not entirely sure what those are about, but hey, there's one. Uh, and then we need two electric motors, so we need four of these. So we need like 16 more. Really? <laughs> um, so copper cables. We have enough now. <laughs> that was almost perfect timing. So coils, two iron, and then we need ten, I believe it was. So let's get that. Um, let's just make sure. Yep, ten item casings. So that'll take a second, and then we'll switch it back to the, the copper cables. Um, so the pattern storage Requires reinforced stone. That's not bad. Um, advanced machine casing, advanced circuit. Those aren't bad. Mining lasers. This is what's annoying. Um, because we need to get the lathe back out. So let's get that back to extruding. And you still have... Yeah, those uranium rods are still going good. Um, so there's the two electric motors. And there is pattern uh, the scanner. So the scanner is going to go right here. And um, he can only accept 512, so MFE is needed. But basically, um, I think you just put an item in here, but there's no storage. So we can't do anything. I'll show that off relatively soon. Uh, so we need to get one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two more sets of these. Um, so the next thing is going to require this, uh, the pattern storage. This, uh, we're going to need three reinforced stone, which I hope I don't have to make any more of that stuff because, ugh, it's, it's a pain. Uh, it's not difficult to get, it's just a pain to mine. Um, so we're going to need two of these guys. And what else are we going to need? Pattern storage. So let's work on the mining lasers. Uh, so we're going to need six, ooh, I didn't, I didn't prepare for that. But it doesn't matter. So, two, two. Um, we need 
these two here, two redstone dust on the top, and then the energy crystals, but then we need the iron turning um, handles, uh, which I have to remember this guy. How do you make that? That is iron. Okay, that's not that bad. We'll need two of those. So, um, we'll have to put another iron plate in here. Yeah, this isn't really running, so let's, uh, let's do that. There's one energy crystal. And we need to go grab our lathe, which is, I was going to turn somewhere else. It's right here. That's the kinetic generator. We need to remake the lathe. Whoops. Um, I have to remember how to set that up, but we have we at least have the lathing tool, so we need the lathe. Um, oh, what is it called? The uh, let's see if we look at this, it might tell us turning table. There we go. Turning table. I don't believe it's that expensive. Um, Two iron shafts, basic, okay, just a bunch of iron stuff. Um, so we're gonna need two blocks plus a little bit. Um, uh, just get one stack is enough. Um, how far along is this? Not too bad. Um, we're to 17 million. So I, I'm literally just gonna let that run. Uh, it's gonna take a while, I know, but it'll get there. So, there's the basic machine casing, um, we're going to need two blocks of iron, and let's see, it's something like this, this, and then we'll extrude the rest of the stuff. Uh, this should be done, I'll get the rest of that later. Um, yep, two blocks extruded super fast. I love overclockers. Um, and then rolling, we're going to need three of these. And we can switch that back to extruding and let that go. Uh, so we should be able to go like this and that. There's the turning table. Um, and then we're going to need Oh, nope, it was like that. So we have two extra of these guys. That's fine. Uh, now, this is the question I have. Um, let's go grab our wrench. And I want to smack this thing and see if I can change which side things are happening on. Nope, it just picks it up. I never learned how to use this thing, um, but that worked. Okay, so we put the lathing tool in here, uh, and then we need to make these guys. So it is four, three, two, two, two. So four. We need to just charge it up for a while. Three, two, two, two. All right, so almost there. Um, this takes forever. It's manual though, so I mean, can't really complain. Cool. So there's the handle. So we'll charge it up. Four, three, two, two, two. Charge it up more. And yeah, so we're almost there. Um, there's one last thing we're going to have to do. Four, three, okay. And then we'll be good to go. So four, three, two, two, two. Perfect. Uh, so we do this and that. There's one mining laser. And that goes here. And then we should be able to come over here. One, grab a whole bunch of these guys. 
and to grab our energy crystal. Uh, let's eat. Let's also go ahead and charge this guy. And we still have stuff in there. Cool. Alright, so we'll make the last mining laser and then we can make well, we have one last thing to make for the pattern storage, which is these crystal memories, which we need. Um, we're going to make like three of these. So we're going to need some silicon dust, which is clay blocks macerated. Um, how many of those are we going to need? So we need two of them. We need five each. So let's make... Okay, so uh, we need five of these. We get one from four. And we get, uh, we're going to need five, we need 20, uh, we need, it's 10 each, right? My math is correct. No, it's more than that. I don't know. Let's just get like, I don't have that much. Okay, let's get like this much. Uh, let's grab, do we not have any dust up here? Uh, do we have any dust in here? Four dust. Uh, let's grab a stack of cobblestone and we're gonna go ahead and process some stuff. Um, basically, just get more dust. Let's also sleep. Um, by the way, I, bees, I got a noble noble, uh, like a pure noble, so that's nice. Um, unfortunately, it was a drone, so that's not nice. Uh, but we'll get there. So, right here. We need this obsidian. Let's get the guys in there. Um, now, I do believe the only way to get silicon dioxide is through the thermal centrifuge with clay dust, and the only way to get clay, clay dust is with the macerator. Uh, so let's grab our overclockers. Uh, our macerator's right here. And every four gives us one. So it's two blocks. So yeah, it's 20 blocks each. Uh, crystal memory. It's not that cheap. Um, but the thermal centrifuge, this should be pretty quick. Uh, we just get, need to get more dust. Um, but honestly, I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff because I think we need more of these. Um, I believe the crystal memories are what stores all of the, uh, the patterns. So it has the heat, it's just processing. It takes in a minute. Now the other part of the crystal memory is obsidian dust, which we have. So uh, let's make enough to do this much. So that's gonna be a lot. Um, but what we can do is we can go ahead and take the sand and pulverize it. Um, and just let this go. Uh, I want to, you know what? I have an extra chest over here. Uh, I put it behind here just to, to get it out of the way. Um, I really need to fix that tree farm. Um, more power would probably be the only thing I need to do, but yeah. How is this coming along, by the way? It's almost there. Cool. Um, so it doesn't... Oops, I took some gold coins on accident. So it doesn't take that long. Um, let's put copper cables in the bottom. Um glass fiber, tin and gold, do that, uh, reinforced stuff can stay up there, item casings, and honestly we'll do something like this, cool, good enough, somewhat sorted, uh, so there is a little bit This is very slow. Let's grab two overclockers. That'll help speed it up a little bit, but this is almost done, and our first piece of scenario. Any second. There we go. So, scenario. Now this is gonna go a lot quicker. How much power we have? We have a decent amount. Alright, cool. So we have one raw. Well, we have enough for one raw uh, crystal thing. 
But what I think I'm gonna do, let's see, Illuminators can go in here. Scenarium can go in there as well. Uh, let's go dump off our inventory. Let's see what's up with this guy. If I need to repair it or what, uh, that might be the, the problem. Yep, it's broken. That's fine. Um, oh, hey, I took some of it off. One of these days, I will make better tools. Um, but honestly, it's not that bad. And yeah, um, modifiers. That's basically the only thing. So once it knows it has an axe, breaks it down. And I don't know why I didn't take that, but um, I need to go take care of that. So we're almost done with the uh, mass fabrication. Um, once we have all this stuff together, um, we'll be able to actually use it. And that's going to allow us to duplicate items, more or less. Um, basically, you duplicate items through energy. So it's not really duplication, um, but it is what's well, matter transfer. It's, it's matter fabrication. Um, it's super useful stuff. Like, it's really good, but it's super expensive to do. Uh, that goes in there. All right, let's throw these in here and we have some dust I'm gonna throw most of the stuff away well not away but where it belongs I don't need the wrench on me anymore I'll keep the laden pool out just in case we need it again um cool so let's grab whatever dust we have decent amount of dust. Uh, we can grind up some gravel. This is almost done. Grind up the rest of the gravel. Uh, and then we'll grind up the sand. Uh, get more clay. In fact, um, just go ahead and do that. Uh, and we'll get more clay. That should not take too long. We just do that. Uh, we'll do it will run pretty quickly uh, just because this water is kind of doing its thing so there's 12 more uh, we only need three to get started and I'll probably do do the rest off camera um, but macerator it has so much heat. Um, main scenario piece as well. So let's turn this guy back on for a moment. So it's gonna make matter. Um, keep that on. So do we have enough for three? Three is what I want. No, we need six more. That's not that bad though. So um, this guy is very quickly making more UU matter. Now eventually this is all going to be kind of on all the time, uh, ex especially when we get the higher tier solar panels. Uh, I almost want to go for the solar panels before going for the applied energistic system. I don't know yet. That is a question <laughs> that I need to figure out the answer to. Um, that should be enough. Four makes three. Yeah, that should be enough for the last three that I need. The reason I want three is because, well, you can't use it without something else. Um, I do believe. But I will set up a, um, how bad would it be to make, uh, what's the thing called? An igneous extruder with the igneous catalyst. Uh, requires a reinforced. Um, that's actually pretty easy. Uh, as is that. That's not that bad. And then what's... Isn't there a, another augment? Um, so we have, yeah, these augments. That's easy. That is surprisingly easy. Um, 
So what we might do next time is make a... Uh, but a resonant machine is not easy. And I believe that this one requires resonant. Yes. But it makes 64 cobblestone per... per. Uh, I don't think we need that right now. So we can always upgrade the machines, I do believe. Can't we? Uh, igneous... Um, we can. I don't know that we can, to be honest. Um, well, there's, there would be one way to find out. Uh, signal and gear uses. Oh, you can. Okay. Um, does it require, like, the similar... No, it requires higher tier stuff. I wonder if that's an oversight. Um... Because that's a really easy... We might look into that. We might see if that's possible. Otherwise, we'd have to make this, which is 50 million RF. And as we know from this guy... Actually, no. Those are... Emerald. Eh, it requires an intricate circuit board. But anyways, we'll, we'll see what we can get with that. So as you can see, it goes a lot slower. Um, how are we on power? Fine on power. It goes a lot slower when it's um, out of scrap, so we want to get as much scrap as possible. And I just remembered that, hey, we don't actually have any overclockers in that, because we moved them. Uh, so overclockers means more, uh, more scrap. So three of these crystal guys, we smelt them up. And I'm going to put the rubber away, so that can go, like, here. Scenarium can go there. Um, actually, let's do this way. Cool. Um, I'm going to continue getting dust and clay and all that fun stuff, because uh, that's pretty easy. So there's crystal memories. Uh, we needed two of those for this guy which is the pattern storage. Now this guy does not require any, um, he does not require any power whatsoever, which is really nice. Uh, so we just put him right here. Um, this guy has to be able to see this guy, and this guy has to be able to see him as well. So we should be able to do this, put a crystal memory in there, and um, let's say, what's something that's annoying to make? I wish I had another advanced circuit board. Um, because those are really annoying to make. Um, I'm trying to think of something that's really, really annoying to make that would be really good to put in there. Unfortunately, we still have a ways to go with that, um, which is what we want. Um, for example, diamonds. Uh, it's going to consume the diamond, though. Ugh, it does consume the item. Uh, that is the problem. So... I'm not going to demonstrate it quite yet. We'll demonstrate it once we get the Iridium, which might be a little bit, but we'll get there. Uh, but basically, we come over here, and we scan the item. Um, so you can put cobblestone in there. It'll scan it. It'll destroy it. You know, it'll take some power. Who cares? Um, it takes a lot of time, actually. Um, it'll scan the item, destroy the item, but then it will save the item to crystal memory here. It'll tell you the item's name, how much UU matter it takes, and how much energy it takes. And then you can come here, and you can go through the patterns that you have stored. This stores all your patterns, um, and I believe it will keep them once, you're, uh, once it's broken. And then this guy will go, hey, you have all these patterns. Um, you can do a single run, so make one item. You can repeat, make as many as you want, or you can stop. Um, and all it takes is energy and UU matter. So... Yeah, we just flip this on, get more UU matter, and uh, when it has scrap in it, it's much, much better. Don't use it without scrap, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, so I am going to do... Actually, I can leave that on for right now. So I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to get more... Uh, we're going to... I'm going to get prepped to get the... Uh, at least a... <sighs> See, I don't know. Um, we could also do the transfer node method, which would require the mining, no, world interaction, uh, this guy. That's not that bad to make. We can make a lot of those pretty easily. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this will make UU matter. We can then use the UU matter to make iridium once we get our first piece of iridium. Um, how bad are the lasers to make? I think the lasers weren't that bad. They just required diamantine electron tubes. Just a bunch of diamonds. Um, I have 19 diamonds. You know what? It's worth it. Let's grab 15 diamonds. We're going to make... Uh, however many more lasers as we can. Uh, let's go get some redstone. And I'm also going to need some glass or sand. Um, like I said, plenty of redstone now. Um, in fact, let's just get a stack or two, I guess. Uh, we're going to need some obsidian. I don't know how much glass we're going to need, but let's just grab a little bit. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little. Uh, I'll do most of this off camera, but I just want to do this part right now. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And you turn it on. Because uh, otherwise it drains power because it wants to keep heated. Uh, but yeah, so this episode has gone on late and um, that's going to actually put me behind for today, but oh well. And then one more. And we do that. We'll lose the glass once it um, unheats. But this will give us a decent amount of stuff. I believe six more. And I can just come down here, grab a little bit more obsidian. I'm going to grab like half a stack to take back up. And cool, six more lasers. So all I need is power. Um, I will handle that between episodes. That's just going to be me killing some stuff and getting all that stuff together. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research on the Mass Fabricator. Um, mostly because I want to know, uh, or mass, just this, these machines, I want to know how this guy works. Um, if I need a pattern for each thing or not. Um, one thing I definitely want to do, I will probably make an advanced circuit board um, for next time and see how bad that is. Um, we might also look into seeing how bad it is to make, I don't even know, I, I don't even know what else we'd want to make other than iridium. Uh, so I'm going to get these guys hooked up. Um, get more power flowing. We have plenty of power. It's just we just need to get more conduits. So I'm going to get those and get these guys hooked up and we'll get the iridium for next time. Um, other than that, next time I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do. So yeah, we'll figure it out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!